Hi, this is Adam Paul Seagram from MyDrawingTutorials.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to paint a still life of a banana with acrylic paint. For this painting, we'll be using Centinium White, Brilliant Yellow, Brilliant Red, Thallow Green, Raw Umber Brown, and a touch of black. We'll be using this brush. It's the Purdy, that's the name brand, Sable Painter's Brush with a beveled edge cut wedge edge, good for making lines and filling in backgrounds. This medium flat brush, bristle brush, a smaller version of the same, a little bit stiffer, another smaller version of the same, a little wider, the fine detail sable brush, and I call this a powder puff brush. It's very soft and good for making soft, soft shadows. In painting bananas, I have a couple in front of me to use an example. I'll have them so I can see, uh, view them at all times. And we're going to do a still life, a very simple still life of bananas with a shadow. I'm going to keep the white as a background and go from there. I'll begin by sketching the bananas. Set them up. If you use, everybody's got bananas around, so it's great to use real fruit if you can. Uh, and set them up in an angle that you like. Play with the light first. I'm turning them different ways to see how the light falls. I really like this angle because I see shadow with a little bit of depth, so I'm going to do that angle. In fact, we're going to even trace it just to get our basic shape here. I think that's a good way to go. So keeping the pencil straight so as not to get too much of an angle. I'm going to go a little bit underneath the banana, get the shape. I like this angle a lot. Opening here. I see there's an opening here. I'll sketch that in now. Continue these. A great proportion because it's exactly as the banana. This is going to be a great painting. Let's decide that right up front. Bit of a darkness on the bottom. Here again, it's like almost like a mouth. Curvature in, and there's some dark area on the stem. Double connected. Okay, and we have a bit of an edge showing here. Tapers up. We see it again at the end. That, then we're good to go for paint. I'm going to put the ba banana back onto the canvas just to see where the shadow's falling. And in this case, it's a very soft shadow under here and a soft shadow under here, but we're going to make it a little stronger for the sake of the work. Okay, we'll put it back here and we'll begin. Of course, the best way to start with a banana is a bit of yellow. Putting it on our palette, using the flat brush with a bit of bend to it. Just going to sketch in with a little bit of water and brush, just some basic yellow. I'm going to add a hint of white. It's just only, it's just a wash to begin with, just to get our sketch, our basic shape in. Fill the whole thing in including what would be the dark stems. Now, and uh, looking at the banana, I see there's a bit of yellow green towards the uh, base of the stem. So I'm gonna just touch the green onto the canvas. I don't want much paint at all. The green is much heavier pigment than the yellow, as you can see. So I'm gonna soften it down. I might even use it. There's a perfect yellow green. And I'm going to take, a, I've mixed it with this brush, but I'm going to use a smaller brush, similar brush, smaller version. Just to fill in underneath the stem some green. We're setting up our colors here. 
and scratch it into the stem, it's going to be covered by dark. Let this color come around. Washing over the lead. And I see it travels a bit down the edge. You can use it all the way down the edge. Set up a darker tone. Bit of an outline. I'm going to come around from another angle here. Soften the lead down. This kind of washes it out. It just becomes part of the painting. There's water in that, in the brush, in the paint, and it's washing the lead down, making it murky. Same thing with this one. Just going to go over that line. Softening those edges. And I'm using the green to soften the edges. We'll go over it again with yellow later. Come in here with a little bit more. Same thing here. Bananas with a little bit of green are more interesting than those that are pure, purely yellow. All right, we've got our basic sketch. Now we use the same brush to mix up a little bit of a brown. I have raw umber here. Just a tad of that. Don't need much. A little bit of water. Mixing it in. Almost a wash again. Fill in. In fact, we're going to get a smaller, very small brush. I can control it easily. Fill in some of this stem material. And we're just setting up backgrounds right now. Light on this side, it's lighter. The stem is broken away, broken off. Back to the dark. Cut in. A little bit more brown. I use a bit of the pure brown. Shadow here is a bit of a wedge. The shadow under the edge of the stem. A little bit of rough stuff here, just to give it interest. Where it's broken away. Yeah, it's just the feeling. Soften that a little bit. Now, since we have this great color out, I'm going to use the same brush back in the medium brown, some water, to establish a shadow under the banana. And right along the line, a little darker there. Just getting lighter and lighter out to the end. Slightly, also there's a shadow line between the two bananas. Very subtle. There's a bit of a shadow from this banana on this banana. Continue that line down the edge. Just give it a roundness, round quality as well. It's a little darker in the cleft. We'll soften this later with over it, with yellow over it. I want to have it underneath the shadow first. Now I'll do the same on the back side of this. This is the dark side. There's some darkness at the tip of the bananas. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the next size brush once again and back into the brown. Just a tip of water in there, a hint of water, and I'm going to wash along the edge of this banana, soft brown, like a shadow. Following the shape, dramatic 
locate the line that remember the banana curves upwards so we want to have the shadow end once again in here the same thing a little darkness put it in the center here still kind of washy at this point okay and take that darkness and put it next to the banana here so that our shadow is deeper on the interior now established shadows We've got our basic, un what I call underpainting sketch, which you can add color to now, make it more interesting. Okay, let's get a soft brush. I'm gonna use this, very soft. It's almost like a makeup brush, I believe. It's great, and it might even be that, I'm not certain, but it's very soft, powdery. So I wanna go back into that brown, and I wanna soften this edge a little more, fading it outward. Pushing out the lead line while it's still wet. You can do that. What I want to do here, same thing here, soften this just a bit. I'm going to use a little bit of this color now in the, pulling it into the banana. Since my brush is in it, softening that edge, softening all of this. Softening here, pulling it into the banana. Need a little bit of water, not much. Same thing. Giving it a round its quality. Nice edge. Okay, and I want to soften this out even more. I'm gonna use my rag. We'll put some white in there and blend it into the background with the same brush. Same thing here, just softening these shadows out. Okay. There we have our pretty much our underpainting. And now we can start building. What I'm going to do now is add a little bit thicker paint and get some, uh, I'm actually gonna do my best to match the banana a little bit, but keeping some of this green, because I really like it, and deep dip in the shadows, and then I'll add a little bit of interest to the background, like say the edge of the table is here, an angle, I like that, and darken these with other brushes. So I'm gonna begin with the darkening first, going back to this brush, and pulling some more brown once again, raw umber, don't need much. Okay. Areas that are deep. Put a little bit of that in here just for interest. And back depth and the depth of the shadow here. Also. See the contrast really makes those bananas jump. And along this line, just use a, make a slight line. And I'm going to use a Smaller brush, fairly soft. Some of this brown, drag it out here, softening it. It's good, good contrast. Okay, I'm gonna come back around on the back side, coming from the other angle so I can reach it head on. Softening it out again, softening that out. More brown now. Darkest places. Once again, enhancing that back line. And I'm going to use a go back to my small brush. Brown because I've got a tight area. There we go. Think about shadows is there distinct but they're, they're soft always on, soft on the edges pretty much even if you have a shadow let's say of a telephone pole on the concrete the edges if you look very carefully are blurred okay all right now I want to cut a line across here that indicates the edge 
on the table or whatever it is, just to give the painting interest. So I'm going to, to use the straight, straight edge. And I'm going to place it right about here. Make it very dynamic, long. All right, I'm going to move around to the other side for just a moment so I can cut this line from behind. It's easier. We'll let that set up. I'll put the bananas back. We'll let it dry. Put this brush aside. All right, and we're going to go back to, for some fresh yellow. And a hint of red in it to make it more of a banana yellow. It's the smallest amount. And it has white in it, so we've got it back to our yellow. I'm going to put just the, using the tip of the brush into the red to warm it up. And we need more yellow. Okay, so we've uh, put that, put some more yellow in there. Now we got a banana. We're right on the banana. Put some more white in it. Now I'm going to keep the yellow green I have here and here and work on the inside of the banana. And I'm going to come down like this. And I'm just going to cut that down to a very small edge, very, very subtle. I'm using the edge of my brush as a drawing tool again to make that a very thin. And we're going to have an opening right in here. I'm going to draw that while we're at it so I don't forget. An opening between the two bananas that shows the background table right here that will be white. that soon. Meanwhile, back to the banana. Getting a nice clean line here. Using our brush as a drawing tool and then now filling in, dragging that up. Just fading that up into towards that grain. Very very soft and washy. Okay. Same thing on the other one. Keeping some of that yellow green. And there's a bit of white here on this edge. I'll soften that down. Now going back into the white. Touch of water. Putting that in there. And a bit of white highlight right here from our light source. Coming down. Blend that out, just soften that down. And put a little more white, pure white on top of that. It gives it a much more rounded feeling. Same thing here, just below the edge. Go back to our tiny brush. Take some of that white. See that there's a hint of white here. A little shadow, but that is all right. That's gonna have to set up a little bit. It's nice depth, and here again, a bit of white. Nice. I'll we'll let that get a little dark, so we're gonna let it dry. Okay, now we're going to cut that white in, into the center here. The background's coming through. We might have to give it a couple coats, let it dry. And we'll have to shadow the edge again. And go over this white again. Make it more pure. Clean this brush again, this one. Go back into our brown, reestablish this shadow very carefully. Very soft. And continue it onto this banana. Softening it. Okay, we'll let that set up 
just for a minute. I see a little something here. Now, keeping in mind that no banana is perfect, I want to give it a little texture here. And so I've softened my brown down with quite a bit of water, and I'm just adding some imperfections. Very random. And I'm actually looking at the banana and just kind of following what I see. Gives them a little more realism. A little bit of bruising, a bit of aging. Now I'm going to go back into the banana and add a little bit of white highlight. And I'm going to take a bit of white and a bit of yellow. More white. There we go. A little bit of light up here. More white. This white has a touch of green and a touch of yellow. Very subtle. Not much of either. Just to brighten this area up. This light is traveling along the edge. Softening that out. And running the same thing along here. That's it for the banana still life. I'm going to put my signature on it and call it a painting. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoy the experience of painting. For more acrylic painting tutorials, be sure to sign up for our newsletter. You can do so by going to the URL on the screen or click the link in the description. So until next time, happy painting. <laughs>